Alright, so the question is should you buy new or second hand your first road bike or tenth road bike or like me? How many road bikes are on? 150, I don't know. Um, but I ride all the bikes. I ride all the bikes, all the brands, all the models, all the ages, etc. Should you buy new? If you're if you're a brand new new, buy new. Uh, first of all, I want to say go to drewnight.com and check out my bike buyer's guide. It's called Drew Knight's Body Bible. I had to be salesy, but literally is the best bike buyer's guide ever written. If your goal is fitness, weight loss, bike life, save money, have the best performance and the best experience, Drew Knight's Lean Body Bible is for you. DrewKnight.com, and uh, it's just I'm yeah I'm the bike geek man, like no bias at all, just straight up. I love getting people to cycling. Contribution is one of my main drivers in life, and a lot of people are having great experience on the bike. It just as people have told me in the past 20, 30 years ago, I want to help people pay it forward, you know. So should you buy new? If you're brand new to cycling, it's best to buy new so you get the right size. Which bike should you get? Go to my bike buyer's guide, get that, and then boom, it's always updated. Free updates, okay? So you always go there. I check the, the calendars all the time, the catalogs, and I update it. If something's good, I'll update it. Alright, you get those free updates via email. If you bought in the last three years. Because um, new things coming always coming out. Maybe better, maybe not. But if you're an experienced rider, someone like me or Natasha, and you want that, that top level bike, carbon fiber, under seven kilos or roundabouts, DI2 or SRAM red or you know lightweight wheels on there, mint condition, then you're gonna get the best deal second hand. But you've got to know what to look for. Does it have a ring of death? Does it have any cracks in the frame? Is it your size you want? You know, if, if someone like me and Tasha, we can look for those things. Um, but maybe you, you want that thing, but you're like, oh, I don't know what to look for. Then you can join my coaching group and I'll, I'll, I'll negotiate with the buyer to get uh, with the vendor to get the best deal. Recently, I had a guy uh, in uh, Adelaide. He's like, once you get a bike, but he's got you know someone needs someone to help him out all the time. I'm just I'm just like wheeling the deal all the time. But you win. You get the best deal, and I get a little bit of a cut. I'm happy with that. So, but you know, I get off and saving people hundreds or thousands of dollars, and and most importantly, getting a good experience in the bike. Because what's the point if you get a great deal? But you've got a proprietary fork and it's got a ring of death and they've got a frame that is pretty much worthless because you can't get a fork anymore. Well, it's just a big head head, head front, you know? So it's just so straight away. So it depends what's better, second hand or near you or brand new. Depends who you are, depends on your experience level, depends on your budget. But I see the price of top level bikes these days. When I'm walking to bike shops, it's just to say good day to people or buy some parts here and there. I don't really go to bike shops anymore to to salivate over the new models because the new models most of the time are a disappointment unfortunately especially the top tier ones like the new addict the new scott addict for me is like eh. but i saw a, a bike an addict yesterday in the shop rim brake brand new 2016 model and i sit on it i was like man this is, this is a good this is a, a good bike it's like this different color you know so yeah that's the deal so many people are going to buy bikes get the wrong size or the wrong or pay way too much for it or whatever and it's just money, you know, it's just money. But if you want to save money, if you want to get the best experience, drewnod.com, get the Drewnod's Lean Body Bible. The best book out there ever. Cycling tips, just it smashes all of them. Weight loss, performance, debunks all the myths. Why waste money and time? Why waste money and time?